Hey guys and welcome everybody to the brand new honest reaction video. Today we're gonna be checking out Crush by Zero Base One and it's actually my first ever reaction to them. I've never heard them before and no songs, no no nothing. Like I'm not familiar with them at all. I just from the opening frame that I I can see that it's a boy group, but I don't even know how many members there are. So we're going to find out through this video. Uh hopefully it's a good choice, you know, it's their latest release, Crush. So I hope that it's going to be somewhat representative of what kind of sound they usually go for, so I get at least somewhat of an idea of what they're about but yeah we'll see you guys will let me know down below i'm sure so yeah let's begin with it now but before we jump in guys don't forget to check out my patreon where you can see all of my exclusive reaction videos including live stage reactions by groups like nct exo tame and taeon ssd shiny espa iu new jeans and others then Dan shows like Street Woman Fighter, both seasons and Street Dance Girls Fighter, K movies and K drum reactions like My Mister, Hotel de Luna, It's Okay It's Not Be Okay, Scarlet Heart, Eighty One Class, Goblin, Descendants of the Sun, The Glory, and many many more. So all of that you can find on my Patreon. The link to it and to the content guide of all my Patreon content are down below in the pinned uh, comment. So yeah, here we go. Okay, let's begin. Crush. Ooh. Interesting, um... Interesting beginning here in terms of the instrumental, like this beat feels very fast paced. I kind of forgot what this music genre is called, like which category you could uh, attribute this beat to, but it's, I, I, I don't hear it being used very widely in K-pop, pretty interesting. Before we continue, before we continue to this apparently very powerful chorus, uh, interesting s melody. It's okay, here I am. You make me so surprised. Like, it, it sounds, I, I'm not sure what scale this is, but it sounds kind of, ooh, kind of, mm, 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 kind of, I'm struggling to explain it, but a, a little minory, a little maybe it's pentatonic, okay. I'm, I don't know. Yeah, very interesting, very interesting combination of uh, the first part of the chorus, how it's mainly instrumental driven, right? There's more, feels like there's more instrumental than their voices and uh, more beat than the melody. You see? Like these, right? Those kind of elements and then all of a sudden it changes the quality. Mm -hmm. Pretty melodical, pretty lyrical. Uh huh. And the first part was very aggressive. Wow, pretty cool CGI. No 
Wow, wow, these fireworks are really intense here. Yeah, gotta say, once again, I kind of dig the CGI because it doesn't look... It's try, It's not trying to look very realistic. It's pretty abstract and kind of artistic like this, right? Become knights. All right. Okay. Okay. So. Mm hmm. All right. Let's. Z Rose. Oh, Rose. Interesting. I like that. Uh, now let's get to the lyrics, of course, see what this one is about. Okay, so <clears throat> this was Crush by Zero Base One, and gotta say instantly my favorite part of the song was the second part of the chorus slash third chorus with this this kind of beat and with a lot of melodies, a lot of lyrical feeling melodies on top of that. So that was pretty cool. I think musically that was my favorite part. Um, and of course everything I'm saying here is my subjective, personal musical taste, right? Everything is subjective here. Um, so as the whole song, uh, I like 
that it began with this faster beat and instantly I think because it's something that I don't hear in K-pop very often it got me um, pretty curious and so I was like ooh, paying attention um, the rest of the song the first part of the chorus uh, right now I'm kind of torn about it so on one hand it sounds pretty creative uh, in a sense that it, it feels almost like an anti-drop right because a lot of the elements of the instrumental get pulled back and there is only their voices and the beat that is left for the first part of the chorus, right? So it's kind of like an anti-drop. But right now, I don't really know if I like it or not. I definitely enjoy it less than the second part of the chorus. Um, so I'm kind of on the fence about it. Uh, everything else... Um, yeah, I want to say that, the, again, the second part of the chorus makes everything else for me kind of okay. So maybe I I wouldn't mind listening to this one in the future if I just heard it somewhere. We're probably not going to actively go on the music app and look this one up. Just, yeah, I it, it's a little above neutral for me, but I didn't like it to that extent where I'd be like, oh yeah, I, I like this one, you know? Um, so kind of like that and with the music video the CGI stood out to me in a positive way definitely I'm not overall. I'm not the biggest fan of CGI. I definitely prefer real Sets something that actually exists out there. Maybe it's something in the nature Maybe it's something you know in the concrete jungle, but something that we can actually find in real world so I'm not the biggest fan of um using a lot of CGI, but sometimes it just looks really good. And I, I want to say that for me, those times are when CGI is not trying to show something that actually exists, like uh, doing, <clears throat> creating a CGI tiger, for example, looks really bad. In most cases, it just looks really bad because we all know what a tiger looks like we've seen many videos with a real tiger right it's very difficult to replicate something that actually exists in real world especially when it comes to animals and like moving living creatures but when it's something abstract and artistic like this you know like him standing <clears throat> with this partial armor here and then all of a sudden poof, he like becomes almost covered with this liquid metal and then this liquid metal gets pulled away off of him that looks really cool and everything else, you know, uh, like all of the other textures that they added, like layers of textures through CGI. Mm, so that that was pretty cool to see. Um, so yeah, something like this, I want to say, you know, overall, this song combines pretty different qualities in itself. So, so I do want to listen to them more, maybe a couple more songs, and then we'll see if I will actually stick with this group and continue listening to their music or or not. But for now, I'm, I'm still curious, you know, I want to find out more about them. So yeah, with this said, thank you all so much for watching, guys. Let me know how you felt about it and uh, catch you in the next video. As always, take care, keep listening to great music and slav.